Welcome gamers to another One Piece Bad Church video. It's been a while since I've said that for sure, but we're back. I'm gonna talk about uh, the coming white beard. I think he's like um, really good. Definitely when he's gonna come out, he's gonna dominate the meta, like gonna be the pseudo number one unit. But he's not like super broken, I would say, but we'll see. Um, the thing is, we know that uh, the dark element is coming out and it has complete advantage over the light element, which is a problem. That means Blackbeard is definitely going to be the number one EX. But you know, this is video is all about the white beard. Um, yeah, that white beard is pretty strong. Like he eliminates all the runners. You know, he can hold his flag and he can like fill the gauge up to 150. Like if you can get to that place where you can fill your flag up until that 8% gauge, just in time, before your enemies hit you with like a lot of damaging skills, you can you know, pretty much do well. And I think he will struggle against people who nullify tremor. And unfortunately, he's the first uh, recent EX that didn't give the trait that uh, removes the hockey state, just like Claw. Like he doesn't have the one we're bullying now. He doesn't have uh, the, that trait as well. So he can suffer to phenomenal checks, but he has that defensive buff, which can help him. And that white beard does not have defensive buff, but he has a lot of damage reduction. So I believe he will tank even the Yamaton Ace. They will do digits to him, even with like no defense skills. He has 80% damage reduction and has a 50% damage reduction on top of that if he gets damage from like skills and you know things that do a lot of damage. So he like he will be definitely tanking. And he can reduce all status effects by 80%. So things like heal block, frostbite, he won't suffer that much from it. And of course he nullifies tremor, so he won't struggle much against other uh, white beards. Another thing like I saw with like um, the new white beard, right? like his new, new element, and um, you will have like slight advantage over like all the colors, which is good. Like no one is gonna hit you with type disadvantage. Zoro cannot switch color on you and you'll be like just, you know, easy be able to demolish the meta with him. And like all of the top units like Zoro, Kid and Law, Big Mom, Alba, like only gear 5 and the Law version of Claw, they can't get status effect. But you will see a lot of people start to run from the tanks, that's for sure. His counters, Hody is also a counter, Cracker can do good but he got like um shadow nerfed of course like his skill to hit box has been nerfed since uh cracker can have a parameter boost white beard can resist dagger and you know move out of way of that skill that but the most important uh trait about like white beard is that he gains that resist dagger and damage reduction when he's fighting people with parameter boost if you're not fighting uh those types of people they can have advantage on you uh, and then he's like still weak to fix damage. But if those people, like they don't nullify trim, you will do good. So tomorrow will be the day where we like, you know, be seeing white beard like dominating. It's not like his old updated versions. Like these white beards, I believe they can get uh, new different cards. Like this white beard could come out like the injured white beard with the two holes uh, on his chest. He could get a unit for sure. And the one that we just see like with the prime white beard, he could get a new dual unit like with Kid and Low Ace and Yamato with Roger. I think that's gonna come. Like you can see the boss battle that's gonna come with um the Roger and White Beard. That's definitely a hint that they are going to be coming as a dual unit. Even in uh Treasure Cruise, they have a dual unit as well there. So that's definitely going to be coming in the sixth anniversary or all the seventh anniversary. However long this game is gonna last because you know the EXs are just too powerful. They really need to buff characters more frequently and put them up to standard with the meta because like everyone can just run them and like you just feel like you cannot run any one except the EXs. So you do need those buffs to be like uh, happening and uh, frequent. As for counters, you know we'll do a counter video for Whitebeard. Like I stopped like trying to do the counter videos for Ace and Yamato because they're old news over two weeks old and everything like that 
Yeah, man, this white beard, bruh. His skills are too slow. Like, he could get buffed. That'd be decent. Improve his normals, improve his skills. You give him some, you know, one or two modern traits, he'll be good. But all I was doing in this game was just filling flags, of course. But Marine for White Beard, like, in my opinion, is more memorable than even the Prime White Beards that we're getting because he is like the White Beard we knew and loved, you know? So it would be nice to see him being able to handle himself in the mid. But Benda and the buffs, man, I don't know what they're thinking. They really need to do it, like, because you can't behave in these units as support units, like, for five, six, seven years and not even be able to enjoy them once again. Kind of say, but White Beard actually kind of clutched here because you see that uh, that run is dead. I think it was Kaido, and look, I perfect dodge that, and that saved the game because if Gear Five had kept and if they got in the flag because they were distracted with the other teammate there, we would have lost. But there's that win there, and yeah, that's that's Red Boy Beard. Well, you saw like with that first game, like. How clutch it was it could have been clutch but we could have like we lost to a king because there's too many runners like runners benefit on a meta where there's too many attackers and no one is filling flags but if everyone's filling flags 150 runners lose viability like killing low they're not effective when there's a lot of you know big moms and gear fives are filling the flags like you can lose even if you have clock but if everyone has low flag, you can easily like still back the game at any time for sure. But White Beard is going to nerf all of them like pretty hard. Like, like he is definitely going to be like uh, you know the temporary number one spot for now because I think that advantage like having advantage against all colors matters you know a lot. Mm -hmm. And most of the meta units can be tremored matters a lot. Like Kid and Law, even though you can't tremor Law, like Law's not gonna do that much damage to you. His puncture really can, but you know, you can easily dodge abuse that skill or dodge it. Yeah, we gotta kill like eight and Yamato are pretty much easy to kill, even with this white beard, because this white beard can do a lot of damage, but you are it's easy for you to die as well. Like, it's just like one shot away when you can die. So you have to pick your battles carefully. Like in this game, I could have went to try and kill that kid low there. But I went to go against an Alba. You'll see later. But that was like a huge mistake. Yeah. So, White Beard is definitely like you know, pick your character of your choosing uh, to fight, and then you will start to see something from him. But now with the X White Beard, we're gonna be dominating. Yeah, I I really hope I pull him in my account first multi, and you guys also have good luck. He's gonna have a uh, free summons. I think I, like that's what I've heard, but. I mean, to pull these types of EX on free summon, like, they have like a 0 0.01 or 33% rate. It's even lower than the 0 0.2 EX rate we, like, are used to. So that's a problem there. Yeah, this match is always, like, it's about to be finished because on the one hand, like, Whitebeard, if he gets good teammates, he gets killed. Like, I was not, like, doing much impact in the game. Like, the teammates were just killing me, being destructive, and I'm just, you know, chipping in damage here and there. Like, I could try to get you the 1% gameplay of, like, Whitebeard, but that's not realistic. This is how it's going to look like if you're gonna play the Red White Beard or the uh, Prime White Beard, for sure. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe, do all of the wonderful stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.